So I've owned the studio display for the best part of a year now. I've been using this monitor on a daily basis for all my creative work. And whilst it's been a solid buy for me, it might not be the best choice for everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss the positives and negatives of this monitor, what type of user it's really aimed at, and see if it's worth your money in 2023. By the way, if you like the wallpaper I'm using, there's a download link in the description. So first up, the image quality of this display is excellent. The 5K resolution makes everything look super sharp and offers pixel perfect scaling for Mac OS. Whilst this isn't a HDR display, it does have 600 nits of SDR brightness and has excellent color accuracy right out of the box. You'll also get color consistency with your other Apple displays and devices. These attributes make the studio display a great solution for all kinds of Mac based creative work, be it design or photo and video editing. Black levels are pretty good for an LCD panel, but of course won't match a mini LED or OLED in this regard. So the studio display might not be the best choice if you want to watch lots of movies and other content. I should also point out that I have the base model with the glossy screen finish, which I would definitely recommend, as this helps with perceived contrast and black levels. Only pay extra for the nano texture glass if you have large windows directly opposite your desk, and you really need to reduce glare and reflections. So the design of this monitor is another definite positive. The studio display has a minimalist industrial design style that is classic Apple. If you care about the aesthetics of your desk setup, then the studio display has got you covered. With brushed silver aluminium and jet black bezels, it also pairs nicely with a Mac Mini or Mac Studio. Build quality is also excellent. This is a super solid display that won't shake around on your desk. There simply isn't another 5K monitor on the market that offers this level of design quality combined with great colour accuracy and perfect integration with your Mac. Connectivity on the studio display is fairly limited, so this may be a possible negative for some users. We only get one Thunderbolt port on three USB-C ports. Sadly, there is no HDMI port, so there's no way to directly connect your chosen games console. Now, it is possible to connect a games console via a HDMI to USB adapter, but that doesn't work very well due to audio and frame rate issues. The studio display is really only intended to be paired with Apple Mac computers, so if you want a versatile monitor you can also use for console gaming, then this is not the product for you. I have an OLED TV in my living room that I use for all my movies and gaming, so for me the studio display is purely used for my creative work. You will also notice the lack of a power button, or any buttons at all, the studio display automatically turns on when you power up your Mac. Thankfully, this has always worked perfectly. Having it automatically turn off and on just works. It also auto wakes instantly from sleep mode. Unlike many third party monitors, the studio display will integrate seamlessly with your Mac. So the built in speakers are another real positive for the studio display, offering the best sound I've heard from a monitor or computer. Sure, they won't be a really good pair of external speakers, but they should be more than good enough for most people. I did previously have a HomePod Mini in my office, but I got rid of that as the sound offered wasn't much better than the studio display. The built-in microphone is perfectly usable for video and audio calls, but if you're doing voiceovers or streaming, then I'd still recommend investing in a dedicated external mic. As always, I've left links to all the products you see in the description below. So to conclude, is the studio display really worth it? Well, if you're a Mac-based creative, I'd say it definitely is. Sure, the price tag is fairly high, but no other 5K monitor on the market offers the same combination of image quality, design, color accuracy, and seamless integration with Mac OS. I also appreciate the fact the studio display has excellent built-in audio, which alleviates the need for any external speakers, so I'm left with a clean-looking Mac setup that can handle all my creative work. And that's a wrap for this video. I hope it helped you out. I've been Tom Hyphen, you can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.